Thousands will take part in this morning's dedication of the National September 11th Memorial Museum. It's sure to bring back many difficult memories for survivors and family members of the people who died. Former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani led New York's response on 9-11 and the city's recovery effort. He will speak at this morning's ceremony in Lower Manhattan. Mayor, good morning. Good morning. It's hard to believe 13 years later. I know you spent a lot of time there yesterday. What was it like? It was difficult. Uh, in some ways more difficult because it's been so long back in the first three or four years I would think about it you know all the time so if I passed there or I went there or I went to a ceremony there it was kind of um, very familiar now with the passage of time you sort of brought back into the day and and maybe it's also how well the museum is done I mean it really brings you back into that day and gives you a sense of reliving it and for me, it's a strange feeling because the television images are not familiar to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you didn't see them. Are, are, and I've seen them. I've, of course, I've seen them on documentaries. I've participated in some documentaries. But it's not the same thing as, as uh, you, you watched it. And it's, yes, they're so familiar like I to watched us. the Kennedy. Yes. Right, right. As a child, I watched the Kennedy thing. Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, for example, when the tower came, when the first tower came down, mm -hmm. I was in a building two blocks away. When uh, the police chief yelled out, the tower came down, I thought he meant the radio tower at the top. Oh, right. yeah. I had no conception that the oh. entire tower came. It was pelting our building. Mm. We got trapped in our building. And then I kept wondering, how could that radio tower have done that much damage to this building? Yeah. Yeah. They wasn't have until much personal... later that I realized that the whole tower the whole had thing had collapsed. Mm. They have such personal things there. Someone's glasses, someone's bloody shoes, someone's diary. Was there anything in particular when you walked in, personal things to you yeah. too, that uh, gave you goosebumps? Or there are one or two items that I, that I uh, can recall identifying uh, for people. Mm -hmm. Because one of, one of the things I had to do was to identify some of the firefighters and police officers mm -hmm. and remember we didn't identify them by the way normally we identified them with a belt buckle with a uh, patch with a uh, 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 maybe a, a piece of bunker gear right. that was peculiar to them with their serial number on right. it so with the with the fire commissioner Tom Von Essen when that was necessary it was it was he and I that would do the identif uh, identification those small I, I recognize some of them mm -hmm. at, uh, that I did at the time when I was down there at the uh, at the morgue so many of the victims families are upset that the remains are interred under the, uh, under the ground I know that you're close to many of the families what do you feel about that is there room for uh, compromise here there is there is I mean I, my, my view was always uh, tr uh, try to do what the families want now here we have a split right we have some of the families are very um, seem very happy with and seem very peaceful with the idea that it's there, right where it, right at the base, which after all is their final resting place for yeah. the people who weren't recovered. Other families feel it's really wrong to have it that far below the ground, and also in a, in a museum, right. which in some ways, although it's quite a beautiful one, is a, is a, is a tourist attraction. Uh, place. Yeah. Gosh, I can't resolve that. I. I uh, so if I were doing it, I'd probably take a poll of all of them, try to figure out if there's one strong feeling one way or the other what do you feel i'm okay with it being there mm -hmm. well, I'm, I'm okay with i i feel um they're they're where they they're where their resting place is yeah. they're also where millions of people over the years maybe a hundred years are going to come and do honor to them yeah. mm -hmm. Just seeing you sitting here today and looking at the visuals of you back on that day brings back a lot of memories for people. You were such a leader on that day, and many people are saying, Rudy, come back. Even, <laughs> even Jeb Bush said, if you wanted to run for mayor again, he would like to uh, lead your campaign. <laughs> well, he talked about led my campaign back then. He was, he was one of my cl biggest supporters as I was his. I, I uh, believe you can't go back. You, you know, you do a job. With all your heart, all your soul, you do a lot of good things, you make some mistakes, now it's history, and you move on to other things. So, I would, if I look at other challenges, you know, I just got back from Colombia, I advised the Colombian government on how to reduce crime. So that's crime a is no. Down, that's 20, a no. Crime is Mr. down. Mr. Mayor, that's a no. Crime is down 23% in Bogota. Not even 10 I am very proud of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's what I'm into right now. All right. And as to run for another office, sure, I'd think about that, but not mayor, not mayor again. All right. It's I good did to it. See you. And uh, it was a great job, and now somebody else gets a chance to do it. All right. <laughs> that's a democracy.